gotta be honest that's pretty cool I, I don't think i've ever seen a game that allows you to play music while going through the main menu selections anyways what's up guys and welcome welcome to bioshock a lot of you may probably not believe me but i've actually never played this game before in my life like i've never played any of the three bioshock games so i actually bought the trilogy the collection uh, I think it was November of last year and I've had it on my Steam account and I've been debating it and well today I said you know what let's do it so the only thing that I know about this game is literally just the big robot with the little girl on top or the little kid I'm not sure and that is as far as my Bioshock knowledge goes I actually didn't even look into this game because I wanted to really just play it as blindly as I possibly could. Everybody says that it's a once in a lifetime experience. So therefore, I kind of didn't want to spoil anything. I really wanted to go into this blind. I feel like I, I experienced the games that much better. And for you guys that have never played it, I don't spoil anything for you based on any of the reviews that I might have read or explained to you guys as kind of like what I do with previous video games. But again, I don't know if this will be a full series. Honestly, I'm going to be completely transparent. I would love for it to be a full series. Of course, if the game is great, if you guys would like to see daily episodes here on the channel, just drop this video a like. I would really love to start this series with a bang. It's always nice. It always feels good. I'll be honest. But uh, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome to Bioshock. Nineteen sixty, Mid Atlantic. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Hmm. Now I have heard that the game could be a little spooky at times, you know, besides the fantastic storytelling and stuff. Oh, so the plane crashed? Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Um. Oh, this reminds me of, uh, what do you call it? Death Stranding. Oh, Jesus. Now, I lied. The only thing that I kind of know, obviously, it's kind of common sense, is the, uh, it is some sort of, like, underwater civilization. That, that, that's pretty much... I, I didn't think I needed to say that, but yeah, I guess. That's where the game takes place. Hopefully, I, I didn't read that incorrectly and I sound completely stupid. But this looks super cool. Oh, that's so cool, dude. Ooh, look at the moon. Ooh, spooky, beautiful. All right, guys, here goes nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but, uh, oh, my. Oh. What the hell? No gods or kings, only man. Okay, so left click to crouch. Oh, wow, really? So how do you sprint? What in the world? Dude, do you imagine being in a plane and it crashes and you find this? 
How insane would that be? I'd be tripping out, to be honest. Pull the lever. Seems to be some sort of submarine. Ten fathoms. Now, the thing that I've heard about this game that all of you guys have been telling me is that the story is by far one of the best stories ever created. Like, seriously. And if you've never seen this game, try it out. Fire at your fingertips. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. The artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Oh, shoot. This is like New York City underwater. What the hell? Oh, this is so freaking cool. Dude, I would literally be tripping out if this actually happened to me in real life. All good things hit it off of this earth flow into the city. I will say the game has this little, it does have a little mysterious aura to it, you know? So welcome to Rapture. You can save your game at any time on the pause menu. Oh, I'm excited, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. What's going on here? shortwave radio where is it the, oh this is a shortwave okay i don't know how you survived that plane crash but i've never been one to question providence i'm atlas and i aim to keep you alive now keep on moving we're gonna have to get you to higher ground new goal get to higher ground take a deep breath and step out of the bathosphere i won't leave you twisting in the wind so a is to interact with the objects or Certain things. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, the Vita Chamber. What is this? Oh. Well, there's my answer. If you're killed by the hostile uh, denizens of Rapture, you will be revived live and whole at the last Vita Chamber you passed. Some of your health will be restored, and you will always have at least a small amount of Eve. 
Why do chambers work automatically? There is no need to use or activate them. The Vita chamber. Okay, so I gotta hide from this creature. Is that it? Okay, please don't kill me. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Uh, oh, okay, this is a little spooky indeed. A little bit spookier than I was anticipating. Just a bit bored. A crowbar, you got it. Oh my god, it's so weird the controls. Why to jump? None of these other chumps will talk to me. Become a freak. Oh, this is freaking cool. Hey, the game looks pretty good. used to these controls dude they're so weird oh uh, what did we just jump over that oh all the cops on me okay I see oh shoot okay so we kind of automatically sprint okay we just got him put into the shit here Okay, so I want to say we're probably heading upstairs to the plasmids. I have no idea what the hell the plasmids is, but hey, this has like a very heavy Call of Duty Zombies vibe to it. What is that? The Electro Bolts? I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay, you're crazy. This is really interesting. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Adam is what currency? Is that what they were trying to steal from currency? Adam? Is that oh that's the metal daddy. That looks a little wrong, but hey, it's a drill in between his legs. Okay, it's it's an army hands. Okay, never. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. What is going on here? I need explanations, theories, anything. You're all right, boy. First time plasma is a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? Wait, does it recharge? No. Door control. Okay, how do we recharge? I think I just wasted all of it. Okay, I'm wondering if we should head this way. Use electro bolts on the door switch to override it. I had a feeling. Just want to check up here. Uh, 
Oh, I thought I was going to be able to resupply on that. Now, I, obviously, this is not the original. This is the... Um, ooh, health gained and chips. This is the remaster. The remastered version. So it's going to look a lot better than the original. Oh. Uh, that's a that's a piece of the plane we were at. Uh are we supposed to go inside the plane? Oh, okay. See that that, that that oh shit. Out of Eve pressed. So Eve is the powers. Correct? Yes. Oh. Yo, this is so cool. Search. So Eve hypo. So how do we use the hypo now? Oh shit. Oh, okay. We got to press LT. Ooh, let's go, baby. Okay, hold on. We got a first aid kit when her press B to heal. Oh, the controls are definitely very, very. Okay, so I'm not drinking ever again. Oh, what the frick? Come on. You want me to- I didn't mean to hurt it! You like that? Oh, dude, nice! A thuggish splicer. Oh, this game is super interesting right now. Like, I'm a little lost because... Obviously, we just got to this so-called world underwater. But I think this might be a fun little cigarettes. Health loss, but Eve gained from smoking. Oh. A bag of delicious potato chips will give you a small amount of health. Like all foods and drinks, they're consumed immediately when you pick them up. So cigarettes. A pack of cigarettes will give you a very small boost of Eve. Warning may cause health complications. They're consumed immediately when you pick them up. Pep bar. A tasty pep bar will replenish small amounts of health and Eve, like off food and drinks, and then wine. A bottle of, a bottle of Merlot uh, will restore a small amount of health, but drain a small amount of Eve. Oh. So they have different cons and pros, or pros and cons. No, no, Ryan, I'm sorry. No, I won't do it again. No, please, please, don't do that. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. A bad. Oh. oh my god. As weird as the combat system is, I think I kind of like it. It's it, it's very different. Oh, uh, hello. Guys, let's just relax. I'm new here. I'm new in town, if you haven't noticed. Okay, I need to meet somebody that can tell me what the hell's going on here. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Follow the compass arrows to your goal.
There's guns too? Plasmids changed everything. They destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Okay, so Rapture, Masquerade Ball, 1959. Trying to get used to the controls just a bit here. See, it's my Adam. What does that mean? The Danes. Diary. Hey Brenda, you care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of Plymouth Rock coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Now I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare. I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Port Neptune trying to catch a little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. I like that when you look at the diaries. I I was just getting warmed up. You don't have to read them. They just read it for you. That's great. I always love it when games do that. I'm sorry I'm playing kind of slow right now. I'm just uh I'm I'm really in intrigued. This 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 is really interesting. Oh. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to be. Yes. Hold on, before we head down below. Ooh. It always feels like there's somebody behind me. But there isn't. News vendor. Okay. See, there's somebody down there. Another first aid kit. I feel like we've gotten a lot of first aid kits. And I mean, I'm not complaining. Get me my Adam! Oh my god, people are fucking crazy. Charlie, Charlie where are you going? Nah, Charlie. Hello? Ah! Ooh! Oh, sh yo, what is going on here? I will take the collected cash as well. Thank you very much, sir. I got eight dollars in my pocket. Make that nine dollars. I love for a dollar. Oh, this is this is fucking cool. He's dead. If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electrobolt. No way. Search the bodies. More money. I love me some money. And it's this is cool because it's a looter as well. Another New Year's, another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Festus, working. Uh, imagine my surprise. Well, I just guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Silly enough. What, what happened? Oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. Oh, God. What's happening? Lower that weapon for a minute. 
Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. Really? Oh god. So she's not good. I mean, she didn't look she didn't look like a good character from the start. Oh shit. Oh, he Oh, you messed up. gonna break the glass that's the big daddy she got an atom he keeps her safe so in the beginning when i mentioned these um the only thing that i've seen was the robot and the little kid well there you have it that that's exactly what i was talking about save your game sure i will Save my game. Okay, let's head back inside here. See if we can find anything. Now, since there is there is things to loot in this game, I feel like I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be walking and investigating a little bit more than I probably should. That's okay. Okay, we've got the Vita chamber here little respawn point and this man got slaughtered by mr big daddy old tom whiskey i think we're a little drunk now well, there's only one way but here Clean it up. Clean it up. So I'm a little bit scared because there isn't a whole lot of bullets going around. Should I use my handgun more or? Probably shouldn't, right? Probably should have um electrocuted them. Wait, why is he dead? Is there multiple big daddies? Okay, hold on. Got another bathroom here. Oh, I keep getting confused. I keep pressing triangle to swap weapons and all it's doing is jumping <laughs> again the controls is something very very different i really like how much med kits we got that's that's pretty nice that's always that always makes me feel safe old tom whiskey oh fuck What does the old Tom whiskey do? Oh, this is the map. Hmm. Security alert in pop. Oh. Oh shit. Another way 
need to get there. Head to medical. What are you waiting for? Go! Wait, dude. Andrew Ryan. Wasn't he like the good guy in the beginning? Well, nobody ever said he was good, but... I'm just trying to loot up these bodies, bro. Okay, so we're going to go back this way through the security lockdown. Never mind. Okay, reload my little magnum. Please stand by. Oh, that's just fucking fantastic. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches said to you, the KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who could be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, Farewell, or Oh, he's not as friendly as we thought he was. Oh, God. Dude, this is so crazy. Aim for the head, you'll do more damage. Well, yes. I, I figured as much as long as you know my aim is actually persistent enough to aim for the head and hit the head. But yeah. Through the emergency axe. Hack. Hack security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. So reveal tiles. Swap pipes. Make a chain to the exit pipe. Nice. Okay. Hack successful. Hack security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Oof. It scared me more than anything, you know. Come here, you stupid! Oh, oh. Holy crap! Oh, that machine is clutch. That's so clutch. All right, so before I do anything here, search new diary. Tissue was gone. 
hair's gonna fix me right up. Make me prettier than any girl I've ever seen. Sweet, all right. And so interested in my case. So Dr. Steiner was just the guy we were listening to, too. What happened? The medical pavilion. Okay, let's head downstairs. I want to say we're probably going to have to go this way first. Vending machines. What is this? So a vending machine offers a variety of items for sale, often including ammunition for sake kits and Eve hypos. Each machine will offer a different selection of items. Most vending machines have items at the bottom that will only become available if you successfully hack the machine. A successful hack will also reduce the prices. The electric buckshot for the shock. We don't even have a shotgun. That's okay. Alright, let's go back this way. Oh. Are we supposed to head that way? Is that another submarine? I think it is. I'm going to keep this little robot with me. He's pretty handy. Oh. Woman, yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what? I haven't said anything. You guys just need to relax. Nice. Don't shot. God, this Tommy gun is nasty. Maybe I should use this Tommy gun for later. I think I overused my mech hit. I'm a little nervous. Oh God, what the fuck? I wasn't gonna be able to use my weapon that much, but you know what? Everything. <laughs> Never mind. Things have taken a turn of events for probably the worst here. My little robot's backing me up. This game is kind of freaky, man. It really is. Dead. I don't know if she deserved it. She probably did. Everybody here is just weird. All right, guys, here we go. No. 
Não? Above all, no harm. What the fuck? Adam presents new problems for the professional. As your tools improve, so do your standards. There was a time I was happy enough to take off a ward or two or turn a real circus freak into something you can show in the daylight, but that was then. When we took what we got, but with Adam, the flesh becomes clay. What excuse do we have not to sculpt and sculpt and sculpt until the job is done? I guess. We're still fucking weird. Uh... Come on. Perfect. Okay, hack turrets are friendly and will attack your enemies. Oh my god. Oh shit! Is that him? That can't be him. Of course not. Now I run out of bullets for my little handgun. So that can't be good. On the flip side, we discovered a, a nice little section that we might be able to lose some stuff. Oh god, what the fuck? You have hidden from the security camera. Okay, so that's a security camera. Oh, I thought he was on a... Right. Yo, this is so trippy. There's so much crap. Oh! What the fuck? See the crouch? I'm never going to get used to that. Incineration when it's absolutely positively has to erupt in flames. Don't wait. Incinerate. We'll set objects and creatures on fire. Repeated use to increase the pain. It just 12 and up. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. What? What is that? I'm the fucking doctor. Wait, someone shut the door. Oh! Holy crap! Sorry, ladies, but uh, not today. Security, the splicers, the big daddies, the little sisters. He pumps some kind of chemical scent in the air. Pheromones, they call it. Makes them all dance to his tune. Some seriously crazy fucking experiments going on here. Okay, so I think we should be able to get out of here. No need to fear the security camera. We really actually, we may need some ammo. Oh, we don't even have the handgun anymore. Well, that's not good. Oh. Eve gained from coffee. Pick 
Picasso. When Picasso became bored of painting people, he started representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could do with a knife like that old Spaniard did with a brush? All right, dude, you got problems. See, see what I'm talking about? There's so much to this world, like Steinman, so much to I investigate. Is your matter. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst. Then ratchet leaks. Now, I realize you realize you're a posh sort of geezer. And frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Nice, what is this? Automatic hack tool. You've got an auto hack tool. Use it to hack for free. I shouldn't have done that. Potato chips. So is it like a one one and done type of thing? I should probably Hold off on it. Let me see. Do I approach the vending machine? Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, it's expensive. Oh, that's expensive. So if you have no ammo, obviously, you don't pull out the handgun. Fuck, hacking is actually probably worth it because although it's kind of tedious, it's it's very expensive to buy anything. Hey, what? All right, fuck it, let's go. Here goes nothing, boys. Aesthetics are a moral imperative. Why do we have two eyes? Is there some law that says we must? Two arms, two legs, two ears, two breasts. Uh, my friend, you are just fucking weird. Not finished. Not finished. Oh. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and stone. Get up now. The Lord ain't the quitter. They like destroyed the debris. They're off like it's the 4th of July. Explosives are hard to come by down here. If you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, you can catch the damn firebombs and toss it right back in his gob. Or anything else that might be standing in your way. Okay, so when you go find telekinesis. Okay, so are we going back this way? Shit. Okay, let's let's go back in here then. Ooh, damn, son. Sorry, girls, not today. You know, I've got a mission in hand, and that is to kill the surgeon, or shall I say, the doctor. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't know what the fuck the guy said over the radio, but. This might work. Nice. Thanks for the cheese, dude. Look at <gasps> okay, I think we're in here. 
good. I'm gonna be spamming A a whole lot. So I do apologize if you hear a lot of, <laughs> you know. You got special ammo. Pick up the right ammo for the right enemy. Oh. Hey, hey. I didn't want to use my electric ammo for these people. I think the game told me to, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They, they just came at me a little bit too fast. Dental services area. At the German prison camp, they put me to work on genetic experiments on other prisoners. They call me Das Wunderkind. A wonder child. Germans. All they can talk about is blue eyes and the shape of forehead. All I care about is why is this one born strong and that one weak? This one smart, that one stupid. All that killing. You think the Germans could have been interested in something useful? You know what? I think it's probably better if. Yeah, we're gonna follow the arrow. I'm just trying to over investigate and. It might just be delaying the process. Okay, loot this up. Hey there, sir. Don't mind if I do. There's a lot of water here. Definitely the uh, electric. The electric buckshots are going to be very, very good for this. We've got a safe. I think we should probably hack this. Use the auto hack. Alright, nice. Okay, what do we do here? Hello? What is this? Clinical trial at 23, Dr. Su Chong. Client Fontaine Futuristics. Work on telekinesis plasmid proceeding well. Lifting objects at distance presents no problem. Moving objects through space, no problem. Cannot stop speeding bullet, but can catch and throw a faster moving object. Problem not with plasmid. Problem with reaction time. Stuchon just get new idea for plasmid. Pick up big stuff with your mind and throw it at your enemies. Yeah, I've run out of slots and we'll have to replace a plasmid. You can buy more slots at uh, the garden. Replace a plasmid can be re-equipped at the genie bank. Oh, man. Okay, so hold LT to grab objects and press RT to throw them. Press X to drop. Hold LT to catch grenades. What the hell? Cool. Oh! There's no fucking way we just learned that. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, dude, that's crazy cool. There we go. 
and search. Oh, you can hold the trash can and search it as well at the same time. <laughs> oh! That was, that was not very smart, now was it? Oh, dude, this is insane. Bro, this is crazy. Ah, oh, but it uses... Oh, okay, so I gotta be careful. I can't be abusing this too much. Okay, so we're just gonna head to where we gotta go. What is this? I am beautiful, yes. Look at me. What could I do to make my features finer? With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. But is there not something better? What if now it is not my skill that fails me, but my imagination? Call it a little light, and surgical savings will happily work out in a full plan for any major procedure. Potentially terminal illness all the way to help you. There we go. Ah, okay. That was stupid. I just wasted an entire... I don't know if you reload, you would... Okay, this is just a little freaky. Oh my god. supposed to do here okay hold on hold on oh fucking crap So we're done with that. Oh, dude, we don't have any freaking bullets. Dude, there he is. Ugly! 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 Look at you! 
Crap. Bro. Oh. Oh my. Mr. Steinman. <laughs> you all right? It was time somebody took care of that sick bastard. Make sure you get the key off, Steinman. And head back to emergency access. I'm working my way to the back side of Port Neptune myself. We'll get there soon enough. Let me tell you, this game's actually pretty challenging. I I've died a couple times. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of editing, but be pretty challenging oh nice hmm. anything else in here nope okay I think we are in the clear all right so let's head back uh, before we end off the episode let's see if we can head back just a little bit Where's that turret at? Nice. Wait, that open? No. Oh shit. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't really want to hack the turret right now. There's just some of those hacking puzzles are pretty freaking difficult. Okay, so we're heading back. Oh, what the frick is that? Sounds like another tunnel collapse. Welcome to Rapture, the world's fastest growing toilet joke. Alright, so choose whether to rescue the little sister or harvest her. If you harvest her, you get maximum atom to spend on plasmids. But she will not survive the process. If you rescue her, you get less atom, but Tenab Tenab Tenabim has a promise to make 
rescue. No, no, no. no. Aww. Oh, how cute. Thank you, mister. Thank you. What a cutie! Will become clear in time. Be patient. Tannenbaum's playing you for a sap. Those things may look like wee little girls, but looks don't make it so. You need all the atom you can get to survive. Hmm. If you cross paths with another of them, Gatherers garden machines. Make sure you pick up a new plasma or two. That's if the price ain't too dear, of course. What do you guys think? Should we... Oh, shit. I shouldn't have drank that. Should we rescue them or harvest them? What's the better option? I'm kind of... I feel, I feel bad, man. <laughs> I don't want to kill the little girl. Anyways. Guys, I think this is a great spot to end the video. We played for about roughly an hour and change. And I've got to say, it's it's a very, very mysterious, very unique experience. Obviously, I, I, I can't really judge it yet because we're only about an hour in. But everything so far, the game plays really smooth. The graphics, obviously, on the remastered version, they look fantastic. And I like the whole idea behind being an underground civilization. I, I don't know. I just think that's really cool. They've got their own rules, their own everything pretty much so it's very cool it's it's very unique I, I don't think again i've played a game quite like this but i feel like there's yet much more to explore much more to learn and see but uh we'll see anyways thank you so much for watching i wanted to do a one-off episode if you guys would like a full playthrough you know multiple uploads weekly and stuff like that drop it a like i would really appreciate it and as always catch you later